What happened just before the Big Bang? You asked that. I said we have no clue. And, and, so, and let me just let me follow that up. Uh, what is wrong with the word before? Is, there, is this a question of when did time start? Or just to, to deal with that? No, question. there's nothing wrong before. We just don't have any data. We just don't have any data. I, I don't mind going into negative time. I have no problem with that. I don't mind resetting where the zero point is. Time is just where you put the zero is arbitrary, as it continues to be this day with calendars. We use a Christian calendar that's related to Jesus. Muslims got one related to, 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 to Muhammad, and the Chinese have one, and I forgot who they dated that from. The Jews have, everybody's got a calendar yeah. with their starting point. And so the starting point is just where you want to put it. And so right now, a pretty good starting point is the Big Bang. We don't know how to put it earlier than that. But if we, the day comes where a whole new kind of understanding of the universe reveals to us before that, I don't have any problems pushing the zero point back or just counting into negative years. I don't have any problems with that. You have no problems with it, but is it, a, is it something that we could one day look forward to finding the answer to, or do you think that there is some kind of barrier between the word before and the answer to the question? I am undaunted by the limitations of words we use. Just because we date the beginning of time at the Big Bang does not prevent me from thinking about before, even in the absence of data. I am open to what could possibly be going on before the Big Bang, number one. Number two, right now we have no clue how to look there. We just don't. Do I think there's a forever barrier? That simply wouldn't be wise, given the history of science about which I do a fair amount of study. And my, I take my cues from great thinkers of the past, some of whom believed they had hit a boundary, believed the end was right there in front of them. And then sure enough, a cleverer person than they comes along and s says, well, you idiot, just sit down and get out of my way. I, there's a problem I'm solving. And they don't call them idiots, but it's, it's, it's a lesson in the belief that you happen to be alive at a time where we've reached the end of knowledge. That itself is hubris. That itself has the implicit assumption that you are smart enough to know that we've reached the end of knowledge. Admit the possibility that someone could be born after you who's cleverer than you, cleverer than me, who will solve all the problems that we are now scratching our heads over. 